Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make your first trending car speed ramp easy and quick and I will show you the most basics of speed ramp without any effects, it will be just a clean stabilized speed ramp that will help you to grab viewers attention. So here I have dropped 5 of my clips and 1 song and I will begin editing from zero, note, I won't cut the video or speed up, so it will make you easier to understand everything. First of all and before we begin editing, we have to mark all the beats of the song, to make sure that the speed ramp is synced with the song perfectly. To see the beats, simply select your music layer and press L button twice on your keyboard. Now play the song and find the beats, then scroll to that beat and press start on your keyboard to mark it. Once you are done marking, you can close the waveform and we can begin editing the video. So, let's scroll to the beginning of the song and select your very first clip, then right click on that clip, go to time and enable time remapping. Begin moving this time forward to choose the beginning of the speed ramp, for example I want my video to start from here. Then scroll to the beat drop, or a mark you have set on your music layer and begin moving the time forward again until you are happy with the ending of a speed ramp. Once you are done, make sure to cut the rest of the video and delete it. Now it's important to select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click in a graph and select edit value graph. And now simply make a smooth curve like mine, but let me explain it as well. If you select this first yellow handle and move it up like that, you speed up the beginning of your video. Now, the curve means that I sped up the beginning and then video will go slowly to the end. So next what we should do is, we should simply speed up the ending as well. Make sure to select this yellow handle and move it down like that. Now we have a smooth speed ramp, or the video will go fast, then it will slow down in the middle and in the end it will go fast again. Let's quickly check it. Nice, now let's close graph editor and then make sure to enable frame blending on that layer, click here twice until you will see an arrow. Make sure to always enable it on every speed ramped layer, otherwise your video will have too many jitters, freezes and your speed ramp won't look so smooth. First clip is ready, so now we can continue with another clip by just doing the same steps, I won't cut the video or speed it up. Check how I speed ramp each clip, or if you want to skip speed ramp part, feel free to jump to stabilizing part, but if you are new to this type of edits, I recommend watching it carefully without skipping. That's it, in my case I have used 5 clips just to show you it as quickly as possible and now let's quickly check what we have got with just a speed ramps and without any stabilization. Already looks cool and the very first step is done, now let's stabilize all the clips one by one. Stabilizing is the most important thing when it comes to speed ramp edits, if you want a really smooth video, you have to always stabilize your clips in the center. I don't mean just stabilizing, but the clips should always be perfectly centered, you have to lock on any part of the car, that makes speed ramp look 90% better even if you won't add any VFX or SFX, so make sure to take your time and stabilize your clips and now let me show you how. Before we stabilize a speed ramp layer, make sure to pre-compose it first, otherwise you won't be able to stabilize it. Right click on the clip and select pre-compose, then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and after hit OK. Now make sure you are at the very beginning of that layer and then click on stabilize motion. 
So now in that second window we will see a track point and it's very important to choose on what you are going to lock on. In my case, in the very center of the screen I have that mirror, but I don't really want to lock on that mirror and center it in the screen, it's less interesting and to be honest I can't even see it clearly, so why not to lock on the wheel and center it. Let's drag the track point in the very center of the wheel and then make sure to make it slightly bigger. Note, the bigger the track point, the more time it will take to analyze, but the results will be better. If you have a good CPU and at least 32 GB of RAM, it's not a big deal. For more better analyzing and results, make sure to click on options. Now check RGB and then enable adapt feature on every frame. This will make your tracking more accurate. Now hit OK and then click on tracking forward button and simply wait until it's done. Once the tracking is finished, click on apply and then hit OK. Now we can close tracking window and go back to our main composition. As you see the video is stabilized, but now we have those black edges, don't worry and simply hit S on your keyboard and slightly scale the video. Now it's time to lock on the wheel in the very center of the screen, to be 100% sure where the center of the screen is, you can enable proportional grid from here. And now I can see the center of the screen and it makes easier to center the car's wheel. Let's drag that video until the wheel is in the center. Let's quickly check it. As you see the wheel is in the center and it doesn't move anywhere and it looks so satisfying. In case if you will have those black edges issue like in my case, feel free to scale the video a bit more. So the first clip is now speed ramped and stabilized and now let's continue stabilizing the rest of the clips, I will show you the next clip and then let's jump to another editing step, because tracking part will take longer and this tutorial will be so long as well. And that's how to stabilize videos, let's check the final result and then let's jump to part 3 of smooth editing. Motion blur is important as well, it changes the whole game and here you will have two options, you can use free motion blur effect, or a paid one. Free option is an effect called, CC force motion blur. But here are too many questions, if it is good to use, I think no, let me explain why. If you don't have a good CPU and your RAM is only 16GB I don't recommend to using CC force motion blur, because it will take ages to preview your video and for sure the rendering will be so hard for your PC. But it also depends on you. Some people really love CC force motion blur and it works really fine. But there is a paid motion blur called RSMB Pro and this is really the best thing when it comes to really good motion blur with less lags. But it will cost you $169. And I know that you don't want to spend your saved money on RSMB when you have a free option. But what if I tell you that you can DM me on Instagram a word, plugins, and simply wait for my reply. I promise, you will be surprised with my message. And now enough talking, let me show you how the speed ramp looks like when you apply RSMB Pro on it. Here make sure to set use GPU setting on, and then change blur amount, I enjoy 0.70, above can be messed up and you don't really need more than 0.7 or 8. Look how cool the video is now, that have changed the whole look of it. Now simply copy that RSMB and paste on all clips and then let's jump to another in the last step, but this one will depend on you. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shakes tutorials and also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in the description. And now let's check how the speed ramp looks when we finish the most basics of it. That looks so fire. I don't know why, but without crazy effects this type of car edits are always good and satisfying to watch. This was full and the most basic car edit tutorial of how to edit viral speed ramp videos and I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and please like the video.